guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, welcome, hi, hello, my name is Karen, and in today's video, I am gonna be doing this super bold, fierce, smoky eye. Who doesn't love a smoky eye? I love a smoky eye. Smoky eyes are so bomb, and I can't believe I haven't done like a full smoky eye like this on my channel before. I don't think I have. I don't know, I haven't. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to achieve this look, how to get the eye, some tricks throughout the whole video on, you know, ways to perfect a smoky eye that can fit anybody for any occasion. I did pair this lip with a glossy brown lip, which is kind of neat for me, because I'm one of those that goes like for the concealer nude type of lips, but this I think really complimented the eye. It kind of balanced everything out, and I really love the way this looks. I actually filmed this last night, reviewed the video, and did not like it. Something about my hair, I had this like, super chunky chungo going on on top so i had to do a low chungo to give it a little more of a classy look and i love the way it came out so if you guys love what you are seeing and want to know how to get this look continue watching hello guys we're gonna get started with the eye makeup look i'm gonna prime my eye and today i'm just gonna use an og concealer i feel like that's just how it's gonna go so i'm gonna use the tart shape tape in the shade medium i'm going to dab this on the lid and extend out as well as in and that's the main reason why i wanted to use a concealer because i was gonna pretty much spread it everywhere whenever i do any kind of smoky eye i like to just kind of get this part done with otherwise i feel like it's hard to go back in later and add concealer if you need it so might as well just do it right now do i look a little more bronzy to you guys do you guys notice that or not really i added this new product that's actually not new it's been in one of my drawers it's this drunk elephant bronzy anti-pollution sunshine serum it has a little bit of color in there but lately and always i feel like i look so washed out in some of my videos and i look really pale so I sometimes want to tan my face, but I don't have the right product. I'm afraid to put like body self tanner on my face, but this is actually like a serum that is a bronzer, but it's also like a skin protector. So it's a little bit of everything in one, but I added it and I really like it. I'm next gonna go in with the Guerlain Terracotta Bronzer in the shade number five, which is like this. And we're gonna be using this as my first transition shade. I'm gonna take this in with a really large blending brush. This is the Makeup Shack T15. And I just like to pretty much put this on the outer part of the eye. This is just gonna guide me into the next shade. It also just kind of diffuses the area out and just a little bit of warmth right up here. Alrighty, I'm next gonna go in with my palette with Dose of Colors. This is the I Love Sada EX Dose Summer Palette. And I'm gonna be dipping into Wanderlust. This is gonna be the main transition shade that's on my eye. And I'm gonna take this in with a Smith 235 brush. So normally with any transitions, I usually stop right there, but because we are doing a pretty intense smoky eye, we're gonna take this all the way in, like literally connect it. And now I'm gonna go back in with that first brush and just kind of blend everything together. And then now back with that Smith brush again, which is just a smaller blending brush. And then go back in again for round two with Wanderlust. When it comes to smoky eyes, it's really all about building the transitions and taking your time with it, because if not, it can look like a hot mess. I've been there before where I did not know how to blend a smoky eye. I just kind of stamped on the color. There was no transition. And let me tell you guys, ask me if I find those pictures. Nope. Nowhere to be found. For the longest time, I was actually really terrified of doing a smoky eye because I didn't like that there was no transition, but at the same time, I didn't know what a transition was. I'm gonna take in another brush now. This is a Makeup Shack T44. I'm just gonna go right here where the colors end and just kind of mesh them together. It's important that you go in with a clean brush so that you don't apply more product because we are gonna be just like spreading this color around. Now, something else that's important to know is like, I'm doing my makeup in a little mirror, but I do have mirrors all around. I always just look at the mirror to make sure I like how it looks because what can look good right here can look super crazy from far. And you can also tell like where you need more color. Like right now, I notice right here, I need more color, so. That's what we're gonna focus on. We're gonna now add more of Wanderlust right there and then just start kind of kicking it out to create a nice like extended transition shade. Next, we're gonna go in with Finders Keepers, which is this beautiful black that has tons of glitter. It's multi-dimension, just kind of gives you this nice sparkle on the eyes. But before I go in with that color, I am going to be adding a black eyeshadow base to the lid. That's what we wanna see. So I'm gonna take in the Laura Mercier. This is the caviar stick in the shade smoke i'm gonna stop right there i never go all the way to the inner part of the eye because we are gonna blend it out but just kind of add it i would say to about right there and now i'm gonna go in with this japanese this is the 712 brush it's like a flat it's a really actually interesting cool brush i love this it's a kind of like a dual fiber kind of brush it's flat but it's like 
angled. I feel like it's like a finger, like blending it out, you know? So I'm going to just go right over the base and just tap, but also kind of blending it into the transition. And this is not have to look so perfect at all. Just make sure you blend it out. Don't worry about fallout. Don't worry if there's any color underneath. Just worry about blending it out. It's really nice and creamy. It doesn't really dry out. So you do have enough play time with it. So you could leave it like that if you wanted to, if you like more of like a gray eye and you don't want it so intense, but we are gonna go in with Finders Keepers. Mira, super pretty. And I'm going to press on the lid first. Now keep in mind, this color is super duper duper intense. You may experience some fallout from the glitter. And if you do, it's totally normal, it's fine. But as you can see, I'm using a flat brush and I'm packing it up. And then from there, just lightly tap. And then I'm gonna tap again up into Wonderlust. So right here is when you can actually stop with it if you don't want to add any more, if you like it a little more rounded. I'm a little crazy. I like it a little extended out. I'm gonna take in a Smith brush. I literally just picked up a tap it, tap it off. And I'm now going to press the shade into Wanderlust, like tapping it though. No need to really blend. The color is so intense that you have to really just take your time with it. And because we want it to blend seamlessly into the transition, it's important to just sketch as you go. Any brush bigger than this, it'll just turn black. I know you guys are probably wondering why am I adding eyeliner to a smoky eye? It's already dark, but it makes a big difference, especially towards the outer part of the eye. It's gonna really complete it. Gives me a little bit of guidance when I do the lashes. I feel like it just kind of finishes the eye. So from here, I'm gonna go at the very almost corner of my eye and then just start extending it out. See that line? Oh my gosh. Okay, this is bomb. Now going back in with that Smith brush again, I picked up a little bit more Finders Keepers. I'm just going to kind of blend over the eyeliner and just enough to kind of extend the shadow out. Actually, let's go in with this flat brush. Do not worry about any fallout or any shadow underneath. This is the reason why I like to do my face makeup after because I know I'm kind of like a messy worker. I do lean against my face with my fingers and brushes. I don't know, there's people out there that can do a smoky eye with the foundation on. Like I wanna know what kind of sorcery that is because I've tried it and it's not good at all. On me it isn't at least. So if you guys are the one that can do that, please tell me what the trick is. Or people that can do their brows before their eye makeup, like what? I can't, I really, really can't. <laughs> No sabe, I don't know. I'm gonna grab um, this wipe now. This is just a Neutrogena makeup wipe. I picked up a huge box. Actually, I picked up like three boxes the other day at Costco, I stocked up. I love buying the bulk because you get more in the box and you get like four large packs, I think two travel sizes or five, somewhere around there, it's like 100 and something towelettes and it's $14 considering one pack is $10. So it's totally worth it. Plus I don't like going to Costco too much. I love Costco, but I can't with, with it there. I always walk out with hella bread. Why does they have the best bakery at Costco? Next I'm gonna go in with the NARS Climax Mascara and then I'm gonna top my lashes with with the Lily Lashes and the Style Sydney. I don't think I've ever used this on camera and I don't know if you guys can see, it's very like, this lash truly is the best lash for this kind of eye makeup look because it is very extended. If you do anything that's too like this, it won't go with the eye look. So try to find a lash that is kind of pulled out and has that wing. If this is too much for you, which I'm pretty sure it will be for a lot of people, find something similar to it. You might want to double it because the eye look is pretty heavy, so sometimes it can disappear. But this is, I mean, they're bomb. They're totally awesome too, once you put them on. I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple coats of mascara. With the smoky eye, I do prefer a lash as always. Like it just makes such a difference. But I do find it important to really style up your lash before so the lash can sit better and I feel it looks just better overall. I'm just getting my lash dry and get a little tacky and voila. What a difference lashes make. Like they just make the eye stand out so much more. I'm obsessed. So I'm gonna take the wipe one more time just to make sure that we have nothing left. I actually just realized I wiped off everything I had on my face. I'm gonna use today the Clinique Dramatically Different Hydrating Jelly. And then after that, I'm gonna go in with that Elephant Bronzer again because I did remove it off. And I really like how it looks. And by the way, I already did my forehead. <laughs> And then you guys are probably like, what, what, why? I have to work my way down and I do forehead, brows, eyes, and then the rest of my face. So again, and use that Drunk Elephant Guard Glow product. This is the deep bronzy product I was talking about. It's a serum. So I like to do two pumps. I like to do, I just started using it today. But see how it just like adds color. 
I feel like this is great for somebody who just wants to have that glow or like me, needs color to just kind of give them a little more of a sun-kissed look. Oh, I love this eye makeup look. I love it. I live for a smoky eye, honestly. It's my favorite. All right, so now that we have my bronzer on my skin, we're gonna go in with foundation. And today we're gonna be using the ColourPop No Filter Foundation. Actually, on Instagram, you guys requested this one. I'm gonna use the shade Medium Dark 115. With this bronzer, it's perfect, and that's kind of what I wanted. See, it just looks really good. So I'm gonna pounce this onto my skin. This foundation is about like a medium to full coverage. Okay, I'm gonna just kind of pounce a little on the ear. You don't have to, but when you have a chongo like this and you have ears showing, it might be smart to do that. All right, next we're gonna go in with two different concealers. The first one is the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Medium, and then I'm gonna use the Studio Fix 24-hour concealer in the shade NC20 for brightening. So this one's gonna do a little bit of correcting, and this one's gonna just brighten up the cheeks. And then, <laughs> another concealer. And then I'm gonna use the Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer in the shade toffee and see this is why i don't take the black all the way in if your concealer touches that black the slight bit of it that is right there it can turn gray it's happened to me in the past before so just kind of be cautious with that if you are going to be doing a smoky eye not to go too in with the shadow unless it's the lower lash shadow then that's completely different i'm now going to go ahead and pounce that concealer right into place by the way is anybody so excited about fall i'm so ready for it talked about fall like in the last like two videos now or three or one i don't remember but i know i've been talking about it by the time this video is up it will be actually the week i go to new york and it's actually like my favorite time to go to new york because i feel like it's that fall vibe like you get that true fall vibe oh by the way i'm good i'm going in with the same concealer i'm just gonna do a very light cleanup just against the liner and this will create that sharpness see just how fierce that looks Anyways, going to New York, very excited about that. And then a couple days before that, we're gonna actually be in Iceland, which I'm so excited about. I've been to Iceland before, and it's by far one of my favorite places I've ever been to in this world. It's so unique, so different. I actually held a makeup seminar there years ago. It was actually one of my biggest international classes that I've ever hosted. The amount of girls that love makeup there is amazing. And not to mention, Iceland is stunning. It's better than how it looks in photos, honestly, in person. It's unreal, and it's good vibes there. And I will be vlogging both of my trips, so stay tuned for that. You guys notice I'm still blending the same damn concealer. I need to hurry up. All right, taking in the MAC concealer in the shade NC20. I'm just going to add this to my cheekbone, just kind of the areas I want to brighten, tip of my nose, and then just a little bit on the bridge. I always like to brighten right here. I feel like this is where I kind of get a little darker. I'm just gonna go ahead and get my beauty blender. I'm gonna kind of press it into a napkin that I have right here. And I'm now just going to pounce the rest of it on. I'm now gonna go in with the Too Faced Toffee Concealer. And I'm going to actually roll this onto the back of my hand. I wanna warm it up first. And I'm gonna use this Morphe E40 brush. It's a kind of like a stippling brush. And we're just going to kind of stipple this onto my cheek area, bring it up, and then on the jaw. And then right there. And then I'm gonna use the same brush, I'm just gonna stipple it out. I always like to keep any kind of like paper towels or anything right here just to kind of clean brushes off because I am, like I said, a messy walker. It's time for lunch, guys. I need lunch. I need some food. Okay, I'm gonna use that same brush and I'm going to start kind of buffing everything in. And this brush is perfect for this area because it's nice and small. So you really just get it where you need product to go. Kind of just roll it back a little bit as well. And then kind of do a little. Oops. Add it into the apples, might as well. And then I'm gonna grab that beauty blender. I'm gonna use the back of it and just kind of go over just to soften it up. And I literally almost forgot about my neck, about my jawline right now. All right, now we're gonna go into setting the foundation. And because we did use a ColourPop foundation, I do wanna set this with a ColourPop powder. I'm gonna use today the ColourPop No Filter Powder in the shade Medium Dark. I'm gonna go in with this like brush from Smith. This is a 118 brush. I'm just going to add it anywhere that I kind of highlighted my skin, anywhere that I really need to set. Like underneath my eyes is always like one area that I don't want to shift and move. All right, now I'm gonna go in with this MAC Studio Shape and Contour Palette. This is the one that I mentioned in my last video that I'm so happy that it's finally back because they do have the Contour shades. I'm gonna take in taupe today and I'm gonna actually contour my nose with that. I'm just gonna go in with this small brush. My contour brush is so dirty right now. It's sad. Can't even use it. So we're just gonna take this. Actually, I kind of wanted to try this brush today. This is another Morphe brush. It's like a flat one. Oh yeah, it's so much easier with that one, I think. It's really intense with this brush, but I don't mind it. I like a really snatched nose, so 
All right, so I do need to bake. This is when the baking kind of snatches it all together. So I'm gonna take in the Lawless Seal the Deal Translucent Setting Powder. This is actually a new one that just launched and I really like it. This is actually like a yellow base type of powder. It's not like your traditional white translucent powder. So it has a little bit of color to it, which is really, really nice. So I'm just gonna press the powder and the baking is not only going to kind of set and seal the deal as this one's called, but it's truly going to make the area look smoother, make it really last. I like to kind of extend it out too. I don't really like to just keep it underneath the eyes. And I feel like it also brightens, which is really nice. You'll notice right here, it'll look a lot more, it's gonna look a lot more chiseled. So while we're baking, I'm gonna do my lips first and then my eyes. The reason I'm doing this is because sometimes if I do my eyes first, I go so heavy that I can only do like a really nude pale lip. And because I kind of want like a brownish, glossy kind of lip, I'm gonna do the lip first and then gauge the eye makeup based off of that. All right, so for my lips, I'm gonna go in with the Persona Cosmetics lip color in the shade OG. It's an absolutely beautiful nude lip color. I'm gonna go in first with the Max by Supply. And the next we're going to take in the MAC Chestnut Lip Pencil. Alright, and then now taking in the Persona OG Lip Color. I'm taking in now the Sigma Lip Line Brush just to kind of smooth out the edges. Ooh, that looks so good. I look good just like this, honestly. I'm here for it. I don't know if I'm gonna do gloss yet. I'm gonna wait till the very end. But what I am gonna do now is finish off my eyes because this is where it's really gonna change. Taking in the shade Wonderless, and I'm going to just pretty much do the same thing I did on the top of my eyes. I'm just going to reverse it. So I'm gonna be adding Wanderlust first and smoking that out and then adding Finders Keepers on top. So what I like to do is start right in the middle with any kind of flat shading brush. And I like to just pat the product across. I don't go too low either. I just kind of keep it like that, but I like to make it pretty noticeable that there is a transition shade. I don't just like a straight black line. I find that to actually enclose my eyes. So I like to add just enough of the first shade. And on top of that, when we add the black, it will fade into this shade. So it's not gonna be so dark, you know what I mean? I think people sometimes are afraid of a smoky eye because maybe they've seen it done wrong or they're just afraid of sometimes playing with black eyeshadow because it can be a little scary, but I promise you, once you get the hang of it, you will always love a classic smoky eye. And something I always tell um, anyone who watches my videos is that I have a very, very heavy hand. So I apply quite a lot of makeup on, but you don't have to apply that much on. I always tell everybody just do it the way you are comfortable doing it. Just follow the technique. So if you're a starter to the smoky eye world or any kind of makeup and you're like, okay, I'm afraid to put that much on, don't put that much on. Just do it in your own way, maybe with your own colors. If you don't want to do black, do browns first. You know, it's all about really the technique, picking that up. And then from there, you are the artist and then you create it. I'm like such a motivational speaker today. Maybe because I'm not filming at midnight, so I feel like I have more energy. Going in next with the LA Girl Ultimate Eyeliner in the shade Ultimate Black, and I'm going to line my waterline with this eyeliner. This eyeliner is really amazing, to be honest with you guys. It is affordable, and it's fantastic. Like, for a retractable eyeliner, it's so good. I'm not a fan of retractable eyeliners. I like to actually to sharpen my eyeliners. This formula is really good even their lip liners are so good i had a few of them and i actually went through all of them and i haven't repurchased them it's because i haven't had time to go buy them but as soon as i see some i'm going to pick some up trust me they are really really good i mean you guys seen this eyeliner is literally going on like a jawliner in my waterline i'm going to go back in with a different brush it's very similar to the first one i used it's like a flat detailing lower lash brush and i'm going to pick up now finders keepers but i'm going to spray it first because i want it to go on more like an eyeliner versus an eyeshadow so i'm just going to grab a little bit on there Tap it off and I'm going to just press against the lash line. You see how it just barely does anything? You don't need it to look completely black, just a little bit of color. The top of the eyes are already so intense that you don't really need to go super heavy on the bottom. You guys, I had a damn piece of almond stuck on my teeth. When did that happen? I'm gonna now go with the shade Poquito Mass and add that to the inner corner of my eye. So I'm picking up a pretty good amount and I'm gonna spray some setting spray just to really get that color to stand out. I'm just gonna tap it right in there, just like that. And voila. So I'm um, gonna go ahead and dust this off and come back and finish off this look. And I'm gonna go ahead and set the skin first before I go in with the highlight. Ooh, by the way, that was the Lancome Fix It, Forget It setting spray. This is a 24 hour 
Setting mist with plant extracts deflect and protect. One day I'm gonna smack my face with this, I have a feeling. So the last and final step to this makeup is adding a highlight. This is really going to complete the whole look. So I'm gonna go in with my Babe highlight with Dose of Colors. I'm gonna dip my Smith 112 brush in there and just kinda add it to the high point of the face. To the nose, just kinda take that on my finger. And I like to just kinda add it where light hits all the time. Everywhere, just add it everywhere. And you know what? I decided I'm gonna do a gloss. I'm gonna use the Urban Decay. This is the Hi-Fi Shine the gloss in the shade 1983. Oh yeah, much better. Do you guys see the difference that does? I feel to me it just kind of sets it. I think we are all done here. All right guys, so that is it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to achieve this smoky eye. If you guys did, be sure to give this video a like and comment down below. And that is pretty much it, guys. I don't have nothing else to say other than have a great week, and I will see you guys on my next video. Mwah.